Oh, that is so going to fall off. Episode two, I'm going to try and keep on top of this. It's not very likely, but we'll see how we manage. So it's literally the day after, the day that you will have just watched, and if you didn't, the fuck you're playing at. So a Monday for me isn't actually a very specific day. I have things that are booked through the day. I currently have uh, my car being washed out front, so I make sure that I'm here for the morning, and then I'm going to be going to the gym in a little bit. So the morning tends to be admin. Yesterday is Sunday. I take completely off. No coaching, no work, no contact, nothing. And so I work with most of that time. So I was about to tell you what else I'm doing, but I can't find my bullet journal. One sec. Okay. Okay, so things that I have on my list to get done today, obviously the car element, uh, some admin just clearing emails, I get a lot across the couple of business businesses that I'm running. And now the two new athletes who are starting today, I have a call with someone who would like to come back to coaching, and then it's just content bits and pieces that need doing. Also, a list of a shopping list for the studio because there's a load of things that I don't have in there, and we're doing our first filming there on Wednesday, so I need to catch up. Also part of the routine, this bad boy. Now I fill this in every week, some people absolutely love it, some people hate it, and this is just my life, shut the fuck up, my life in weeks, right? So this is every week I have lived so far, this is where I'm up to, I just need to fill in, focus you motherfucker. So I just need to fill in where we're up to so far, which is the third week of being, can you see that, 30 years old. Some people find that really morbid, I personally don't give a shit. <coughs> Oh my god, drama. But for me, that is just the reminder of like how much time I have and it's why I book everything. I, I see it as a relief. You have so much time to live and so not so much time to waste. And whatever my phone is resting on on my keyboard is going fucking mental. Okay, so I'm gonna do some admin. I'm not time-lapsing this shit, building some programs and so on and such forth. Do you like the setup? I love this shit. Maybe at some point I'll talk about all of this. Well, I can figure out where to put my hand while I'm talking. Until then, I'll probably hold off until the gym and then I'll catch up with you after. Okay, very quickly, because for you guys, it's been zero seconds. For me, it's been about an hour and a half, two hours. One thing that I'm doing, which I think you might find interesting, is these vlogs, I'm taking the original, fuck's sake, there? Original files, I am exporting it through a video IO, which is cutting down into shorts. Those shorts I will use uh, through TikTok and through Instagram Reels, probably not, um, and through shorts on YouTube. Just for people who are on the business end might find this interesting, taking content you create and reusing it is part of the game to create more marketing material. This is one of the things that I'm gonna try to do much, much more. I can only produce so much every day, but there are four different platforms I'm trying to run across. So I handle all of this, and then also some of these YouTube videos, maybe even this one will be edited by Eve. If it is, it'll say here. If it's not, it wasn't. Would you like to be in the vlog? No. Yeah. Oh, I'm still focusing. Hold on. Um, excuse me. Shut up. No, I'm watching about Vegas. Can you, <laughs> can you tell the people what you have to squat today? Um, a PP double. Ah. No, it doesn't matter. Just PP. Okay. Ah, uh, is it PP? Yes. Okay. Was last week PP? No. Okay. Well, you said for doubles, yes. I said no because I wanted to triple it. Arguing with coach. So, I'm just about to prep stuff for the gym. The only bits that I need to do for today are pre-workout. Obviously, bring Rachel. And we're going to have pump from Ghost and also the legend pre-workout from Ghost. I'm lucky enough that they sent me over some bits and pieces. Um, I don't know why, because we do shit like this, but hey-ho. So, we'll see you at the gym. I did forget to show you the results of the beautiful work that my man did on this, ugh. What a job. So now we're gonna head into the gym. I have sets of eight, Rachel has a lifetime double uh, PB. I will maybe show you some of the footage. I'm not gonna record much while, well, I'm not gonna chat much while I'm in there because those people wind me up. I'm sure I'll do it eventually, just not yet.
few moments later. Three days later. Many months later. So, I'm still going. I'm gonna um, stop recording because I'm gonna be on here for a while. Video analysis and bits and pieces. And then uh, we're gonna head home. I am disgustingly sweaty. So, should be a delivery of some sort, and that was necessary, you can show the people what we have, which is an excessive amount of, I thought there'd be protein bars. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, obviously gym session was pretty damn good. This one hit a lifetime PB again. I hope you didn't see that. Um, my training is actually phenomenal today, and now it's back, unpack this stuff, put it away in the mini fridge. Um, oh, the mini fridge, hold on. Okay, so unless you haven't been following for a little while, unless you have, nearly knocked that over. This is the mini fridge, which will, let's try something. Should we try and edit? It's not gonna work, is it? With it, wrong side. Right, from here, nearly empty, to, to here. Right, we are done. Hopefully that was really smooth, probably fucking wasn't. Probably on the wrong side of the screen now. So, just stocking up, we have the best two, if you disagree about which ones are the best, you are wrong. These are the best two monsters and so we just stock those up. I get through one uh, every training session, which is five days a week. Don't care if you like it, didn't really ask. Okay, while well, this boots up, I'm just gonna get back to programming. I've got some elements to catch up on. I did my video analysis, which you would have seen while I was on the treadmill. I tend to do that every single session, just makes life a little bit smoother, saves a bit of time so I don't have to like feel like I need to get back from the gym too quickly and it means I actually get my cardio done, which I do ideally five days a week, but not always. So next up, gonna go announce some clients, finish some programs, and I suppose start editing some of this. Okay, so while these are loading, focus, there we go. We are actually gonna have a chat. There's a few to load. <laughs> actually gonna have a little, fucking hell. We're actually gonna have a little bit of a chat about programming and there's a reason why. Is this zoomed in? So here's the things that I think are really important within programming. I think you need to have a degree of overall picture that exists. Obviously the first bit you write, that is the protocol, that's what you intend to do and you need that bigger picture. You then need to focus on the little elements as you go, whether that's the microcycle, individual bits per week or whether it be session by session. Too many external factors happen and are important. Now there's obviously the argument that gets made by really fucking lazy people of it doesn't matter that much. It doesn't, but you pay for it, it matters enough. And this is kind of the thing that I want to differentiate myself from every other coach by the fact that I think every detail matters, not just some of the details are enough because that's kind of what you're saying. So no, the fact that I change things by one rep and you don't doesn't mean that our programming is worlds apart, but it's enough apart that I think that means it's better. The idea is being as specific as possible to technical capacity, working capacity, recovery rates, external factors that might have led to technical changes. These are all elements that need to be addressed and I'm going to do it. So as step one, I will review every single program, make sure there's no elements I have missed, nothing that is falling off pattern as predicted, and so that I can make those little succinct changes that are gonna make my clients' lives better. Okay, so it's been a few hours since, I still have coffee, that's not good. Um, been a few hours since the last video that I did, I have worked through around 60 programs and just done basic updates. These are just, if we're on pattern, things are predicted, if we're not, just minor alterations, and then setting up new protocols for people who are finishing blocks. I've also taken a couple of my clients and shifted them onto our new documents. We've been doing a lot of developmental work behind the scenes. Um, it was actually Beck who did a big part of the updates and the upgrades, which has been fucking amazing. I have two left to do, but they're full new protocols and I've got some conversations to have with those clients before I even want to try. Um, it will still be full check-in day tomorrow, still update with every single person. And we're also now 
going through and doing updates for where everyone is competing and making sure we have handlers on hand for everyone. It is a busy year for the brand. So now I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a break, finish my coffee, I like it cold, and then have some food because Rachel is a saint and picks me up a snack. So small break, it's 5 p.m and then continue work for the rest of the evening if you're not doing a 12 hour day. Are you even really trying? 12 hours, it's gonna be 16. Okay, so, oh, it has zero minutes. This is gonna go well. Just had a little impromptu trip down to the beach. We actually live really close by and don't go there very often. Let's see if I can throw the footage in here. I'm gonna see if I can use this as footage for the vlog. Oh my fucking hat. Ah, not best. <laughs> so we're just dropping down the beach and I didn't bring my camera, so. I hope that was magical. Who knows? Um, this lighting's weird, isn't it? I'm gonna wrap up a little bit more work. It's 7 p.m. now. I'm just gonna do probably another hour. Then I'm gonna go have dinner at about eight, pretty standard. And then that's probably where I'll wrap things up, but uh, we'll show you that, because why the fuck not? So, ugh. oh, my hair looks fucking terrible, hold on. I also gotta stop saying so on these vlogs. I nearly forgot to wrap up the video. I uh, did my last bits of work, load of social media content, bits and pieces. Now going to have dinner with this one, no. who loves being on the vlog, clearly. Um, and then one of the prep kitchen UK. <laughs> he trying to be mad at me behind the camera. Um, <laughs> having one of my prep kitchen UK meals, uh, which I have every night, not a sponsored ad, which is pulled pork mac and cheese. Living the fucking. Gustin. She's vegan. So, <laughs> context. So, I'm gonna throw this on and I will probably sign this off here. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a little bit random. Some of these will just be informative. I just thought while the getting's good, we'd continue with where we're at. I also spent a little bit of time this evening editing this, so this last clip. Wow, the color changes. This last clip will be thrown on at the end. Otherwise, that's a day. It's a. 8.30? It's six minutes to nine. It's six minutes to nine. I'm finishing work now. Easy day. I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.